pin me against another car. You know who you crashed into? I have no idea. The actual sheriff himself. What is up, YouTube? We are back again with another video, and today, as you about the title, we'll be reacting to Cold Blue Cam How a Man Escaped Deputies at 140 Miles Per Hour Before the Surprise of His Life. Uh, Let's get right Sia. into it. Available with on an afternoon in May 2024, Columbia County Sheriff's oh, deputies recent. were advised of a speeding motorcycle in Marsalon, Wisconsin. As the radio transmission concluded, a deputy who was positioned along a highway spotted the 22-year-old rider of the red motorcycle flying past at 90 miles per hour. As the deputy tried to catch up, God. he saw the motorcycle overtaking vehicles on the shoulder and occasionally in the opposite lane of traffic. Every 325, there's a red motorcycle passing on the shoulder westbound, approximately 90 miles per hour, 33 Country Club. Man, it's zooming. Still trying to catch up. Let's get right up. Yeah, 433, 25. Probably a half mile ahead of me. It's at 92, 33, Garrison. Can update the pursuit was then called off due to safety concerns. Yeah, 33, 25, but plus visual in the city at this point. 3325. I'll be 1040 continuing. I can't clear enough traffic to catch up. 104-3325. What type of motorcycle? That was a crotch rocket. He had a helmet on. I don't recall the color and I believe a leather jacket. I'm not sure on color. 3301. It just passed me at uh, 331 a truck. Shortly after, another deputy reported that the motorcycle had passed by the law enforcement center, with several oh, yeah, city officers smart, also confirming they had seen it. So continuing high rate of speed, east of, I will not pursue. Advise the return, please. Additionally, the Columbia County Sheriff stated that the motorcycle had collided with his unmarked squad car, causing damage. 1050 to my uh, squad here parked downtown. It is turning westbound on 16. 331 William Charles returns on a red Suzuki. 3325, that'll be the same description of a red Suzuki. 3300 additional was parked downtown with no lights on. He came by me, he did run into my squad with damage. As he attempted hey. to relocate the bike, he soon observed it in a neighborhood. The rider continued to flee erratically at a high rate. Set of motorcycle, similar to that description, West Cook heading back inbound into the city. I believe it's the same rider. I'm trying to catch up. Correction, eastbound, eastbound from Pierce, so he's actually West Cook. I know. Cast him. Is it him? Copy, eastbound back into the city, Cook and Cast. 3325. Maybe. I'm behind him. I'm going to stop on my truck. 43325. Oh, they're in the city to city now. Due to the red light, south on Wisconsin. Due to the deputy's concerns about the high speeds and heavy traffic, he decided to discontinue the pursuit. Again. 1080, Since they found the man's name through his license plates, they attempted to visit the address linked to the registered Goofy. bike. However, they discovered he had recently moved, prompting the need for further investigation. The sheriff's office made a Facebook post about the individual. By the way, 90 miles. Oh, wow. Well, giving him the opportunity to reach out and provide an explanation for his behavior. During that, it was learned another deputy had coincidentally encountered the man earlier that same day during a traffic stop, where he mentioned purchasing a new home nearby. 
Using realtor websites, a deputy located three recently sold homes in the area. Man, the following the day, the deputy visited one of the three addresses and spoke with a neighbor. The neighbor informed them that a young man had moved in within the past few days and that he owned a black and red sport bike. The deputy asked the neighbor to call back upon seeing the man return to his residence. Later, the neighbor did call back, reporting that the man had just returned home and had seen the motorcycle. In response, other deputies were notified and decided to pay a visit to his residence. As they arrived, man, deputies noticed the motorcycle parked and covered in the garage. Wow. Yeah, that's when you know you're in trouble. After several minutes of knocking with no response, the sergeant decided to give the door a try. Oh, they're breaking in. in the car, man. You got any weapons in there or anything? Okay. So what about the motorcycle? Oh, uh, you know, yesterday. Okay. What happened yesterday? It wasn't working, so. Uh, going 100. Going 100? Yeah. Well, why'd you do that? See, I had a got more respect for him now, even though he could have killed somebody, but he already knew what it was. He owned up to it. That, that's life. Going 100 miles per hour. Could have killed somebody. He owned up to it. He didn't lie to him. He being completely honest. I got respect for him for that. No cap. Really bad day. And okay. I... Yeah. I wanted to blow off some steam. And I just wasn't f***ing paying attention to what my speed was. And then I saw one. And then I just... Saw one what? Cop car. And then I just kept going. Because I... <laughs> Why didn't you stop for him, man? Dude, I couldn't f***ing lose my license. I was freaking the f*** out. I it's, a speed, need, it's a speeding ticket though. Oh, but like, the thing is, ticket. I just bought this house, mm -hmm. and I have a job, and, and that was all that was going through my mind. I was like, dude, I can't lose my license. I, I just bought this house. Oh, it must be a CDO driver. You know, it, it was this, this well, is Just what's... relax, man. Just talk to me. It, I mean, it, it's, it was a speeding ticket, so, I mean, when, when the cop turned around... I, I honestly thought about just crashing my bike and myself i'm not gonna lie over a speeding ticket yes dude i have it's not my worth it, my my, it's a speed my, ticket. My, like my experience with cops has been awful and i just i don't know my life was just going good so i was like I'd, i either end it right now as it's going good or like i try and get away and that's what i'm not sad bro so, so you saw you saw his lights and sirens i mean it's one of those i mean i didn't see the first guys but the second dude yeah so you took off because you didn't want to lose your license? Yeah. How fast did you get up to? One forty. Okay. In town? Out of town. Out of town. Sounds like you were going pretty fast in city too. Yeah. Blew some red lights. One of them. Yeah. Sounds like you got in a crash too. I lost a mirror. How bad's the bike damaged? It's a that's it? That's it. Didn't hurt yourself? Nope. I didn't hurt myself. When he learned who he had crashed into, he realized the state of his shit was even deeper. Who'd you crash into? Uh, some guy in a black like SUV just tried to pin me against another car. You know who you crashed into? I have no idea. The actual sheriff himself. Oh. <laughs> okay. Kind of dangerous. 
I mean, he's screwed. He's okay screwed. Take off from the police, right? Hang on. Hang on. All right. You know that when the lights come on, you have to stop. When the sirens come on, you definitely need to stop, right? Yeah. Okay. So you heard the lights and sirens. You just didn't want to lose I, your license. Yeah, I was freaking out, dude. I okay. It was on my adrenaline rush. I just, I, yeah. Why didn't you just call us afterwards? Say I made a mistake. <laughs> I don't know. I was freaking out. It's all over Facebook now. They kind of tried to give you an opportunity to just kind of make it right. Uh, I... I mean, so, you know that you can't flee. You know that's fleeing and eluding, right? I okay. didn't think about anything yesterday. Okay. You know yes. that if you get in a crash, you're required to stop. You can't just keep going. You're Okay, you do know that? I, I honestly didn't think I did too much, to be honest. So it doesn't point. matter if you're I, no, involved I, in a crash, no, right? No, I, I, yeah. You hit a car. Yeah. You're required to stop and report that. You're required to stop for the red and blue lights and siren. Yeah. Can't I, run. I, I have no excuses. I, no, I, see, I, like, I, he's understanding that he was wrong. Totally. Totally understanding he's wrong. But I don't think he understands the magnitude of, like, he could have killed somebody or not killed. He could have unalived somebody. He could have. So many bad things could happen. He could have unalived himself, the, the county sheriff county deputies everybody bad and all because his last play got caught that sucks that freaking sucks hope hope he gets the help he needs honestly okay, can't run stop say. signs stop lights and all that stuff okay no i was just <laughs> i bought a lawnmower to mow the lawn because i had a house party yesterday and um it didn't fucking start and i was cranking it like 45 times and i was pissed off and my mom was like oh you're gonna go for a motorcycle ride cool down and i don't know why the fuck i decided to but yeah there's there's that what, uh, what all do you have on you right now nothing okay all right all right man you are under arrest okay all right felony clean eluding and um uh, hit and run there you go. Let your hands go. Let your hands go. Thank you. You want your phone? Grab it in there. Is your phone in here? Oh, on the. Is it alright if I grab it? Yeah, the. I'm just gonna stay with you. Yes. Are you having a nice day? Besides. Just starting my day. I do appreciate you coming to the door and talking to me. Okay. Yeah. No. No problem. Sometimes we just got things we gotta get taken care of, right? Yeah. Yeah. Am I staying overnight? Uh, you'll be staying until you see a judge, bud. You got a, well, at least one felony, if not two, okay? Can I reach over you so we can back as best as you can? I know it's hard with the cops, okay? I appreciate you collaborating, okay? I've talked to Sergeant who was the one involved in the case yesterday. Yeah. Um, he's asking if you would continue to collaborate a little bit. Can we get your helmet and your letters? Oh, yeah. Where's it at? Are these the right shoes? Yeah, do I have to use the shoes? Huh? Do I, you guys have to take the shoes? Hey, Garrett? Yep. Yeah. Did you see the Facebook post? No, I don't, I don't really, really use, use Facebook. Facebook. All right, did you know about it? No. I think it was on the sheriff's page and it was on the, like, some news right. page, local, like, Columbia County scanner or something. Basically, it was uh, asking for cooperation that uh, you just call us and reach out and talk to us about the incident. As a result, the 22-year-old male was charged with two counts of felony vehicle, fleeing eluding an officer, and misdemeanor hit and run. On top of that, he racked up over $2,500 in traffic citations for Ooh. every single wrong move he made during the pursuit. He was ultimately released a few days later on a $500 cash bond. Fair enough. Wanna that doesn't seem too bad. I've seen worse cases and scenarios. But anyway, comment down what y'all think about the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I just hope he learns from himself and don't flee. Because it's not good. Going 140 miles is crazy. Not saying I haven't done it. Not saying I did do it. Uh, you know what? I haven't done it. Uh, but yeah, don't do it. Not safe at the end of the day. Not safe.
Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, comment down below what's your favorite part. Thanks for signing out. Have a wonderful day. Peace.